Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Predator Helios 500 and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can uh, upgrade the hard drive, add an additional hard drive and what are the combinations that you can have in here and so you guys can upgrade, increase or replace yours if you want to. And people always tell me they call uh, Acer's call center and service support and they told them like there's a limit on the hard drive and some BS stuff and that's not true we have upgraded these phones to a many different capacity and they always work like a magic and there's no limit or anything like that all right just remember once you upgrade the hard drive or at least you upgrade your SSD drive which you have your windows on the new drive you will not have any operating system you can either clone your operating system, which I won't recommend you. Uh, installing a Windows is really, really easy. It takes five to 10 minutes and it's highly recommended. I made a video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. I made another video how to install it on your laptop. It's really easy. Follow my install uh, installation guide to get the optimum uh, installation so you don't get those broad words. Anyway, for this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to swipe and the combination that you can have. All right. So first thing first, back up your files and power off the laptop. It's pretty heavy. The model for this one is an Helios 500 PH 517-51 series. The model number is N17Q11. All right. So the only tool that I'm going to be using right now is an iFixit screwdriver set. As always, these are one of the best screwdrivers. I purchased this simple basic set. There's a pro set that includes your opening tools and stuff. I got the basic set. We're going to use a Phillips number one. For the opening tool, I'm going to be using a guitar pick. Uh, metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with these two on hand, we're gonna open and remove the service cover, which has been held down by two screws. So we're gonna remove these two screws right here. The screws are the same size, so don't worry about mismatching these two. Keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my video, if my videos are helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. All right, to remove the cover, you either put your finger right at the back here, here and lift it up, or Put a metal thing right underneath and pull it up and wiggle it around and it will release itself. So this is the service cover. And right away, I see there's a two slot, put the slot two, slot one for NVMe drives right here. These are PCI Express lane. So yes, you can put an NVMe drive in here and there's a battery right in here. You don't need to disconnect the battery to remove the SSD drives. Or anything like that you can keep it on but for those people that are paranoid to so remove this the battery pull this jack backward just like that and the battery will get disconnected if not just leave it the way it is you don't need to disconnect this battery all right to remove the N m.2 nvmes there's a we need to remove this kit plate by removing one screw at the end right here and right away you want to use your fingers right there and you want to Pull it up from here, from this side up a little bit, and then it slide it forward. There's a little thermal pad in here. These are a 0.5 millimeter thermal pad. If you have second one, you want to install second one, you got to put a thermal pad right here. That's an optional, actually, you don't need to. All right, so this, the Windows is installed on this one, which is a 256 gig or 500 gig, I believe. I think it's up, they all have upgraded to, no, this is a 256 gig. To remove the NVMe right here, you have to remove the screw. So once you remove the screw, the NVMe comes up in 45 degree angle. All you need to do is to pull it out in the same 45 degree angle backward. And uh, I'll recommend you guys to grab a Samsung brand. The Samsung uh, Pro versions, 980 Pro, these are really durable and they will last you well, much much longer than comparing to any other brand i'll get the link for uh, good brands if you need to get yours you can put a four terabyte right here and four terabyte nvme drives right in here you can have up to eight terabyte nvme 
for a better uh, file transfer in between them. To put the NVMe in here, you want to bring it down in 45 degree towards the jack and push all the way towards the jack. And then you want to push it towards the bottom casing and put the single screw right at the back. Make sure the screw hole is really nice and snugly right there. They do provide you the second screw for the second uh, hard drive that you want to plug in right there. So there you have it. And if you want to plug in the second one, let me see if I have another NVMe over here. There's one here for demonstration. So you can put the second one right over here. I forgot to remove the screw first, and then you can have it right in there. So pull it out. Right. You want to put the heat spreader, you want to put the end of the heat spreader right at the back of the there, and you want to bring it down. Make sure there's a little plastic that has to come through here, has to come so it can sit down flat. And you want to put the screw right over there. So you can have four terabyte, four terabyte for a better file transfer. Now the another mechanical drive in here is right over here. To remove it, you want to lift up the battery from the back side, slide it towards yourself, and bring it up. Just twist it like that. You don't need to disconnect the connector for the battery, which is right here. You want to remove two screws, one and two, right on the caddy that holds the hard drive in place. You can uh, put up to two terabyte mechanical drive in here, low profile. I recommend your mechanical drive right over here for extra storage because mechanical drive, they don't have, a, uh, they don't wear down. To remove it, you wanna, on this side, you wanna put a screwdriver, just bring it up gently. Before you bring it up, let's go ahead and untangle this cable from here. So pretty much I'm gonna untangle it, bring it over this jack right here, and then I'm gonna, bring it up 45 degree and then i'm going to slide it towards the fan and that's it now we're going to bring it like this twist it and we're going to disconnect the adapter just pull the adapter out and there's your hard drive you can put a, another four terabyte ssd sata in here or you can put a two terabyte uh, or mechanical low profile if you want to put a, any sata ssd or anything like that you must remove this rubber uh, caddy right in here. Make sure the orientation for the SATA connector and the power is facing the same direction. You want to remove two screws on this side and two screws on this side and just pretty much wipe the internals and put the screws back on and there you have it. So you can put an SSD or mechanical drive right in here. And the next thing is to just bring it down the Adapter only goes in one way, so plug in the adapter, push it right through. Put this side, you slide the front end down in there, slide it right there, and then bring it and push it towards the case and then snuggle that, that cable right under that cover right there. And then grab the casing, slide the casing right here first and the grooves and bring it down and put the two screws right over. So it is a really good combination to have a two terabyte mechanical drive right over here. And for, for uh, productivity, you can have a uh, two terabyte, two terabyte NVMe, which is really good. If you want to go over the budget, get a four terabyte and four terabyte NVMe right over there. Next is you want to put the battery, put the top side of the battery slided under these hinges and then slide it down. There's no screw for here. <coughs> And next is to grab the bottom casing, put the front end of the case right in the slots, bring it down, squeeze down, make sure you hit those clicks. And the last thing would be to just put the bottom service cover screws. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you want to support the channel, you know what to do. Click that like and subscribe. And if you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.